welcome back to Gabino Games and today we have a legend siege battle against GOAT also known as the greatest of all time but we shall see definitely a legend guild now we are gonna go check out their defenses and you wanted to know like what's the thinking behind setting up defenses well we have a legend guild here and it's a very good example for different defenses that we can actually learn from and check out. Now let's see what we can find here. Alright, let's go check out MD5's defense here with that Ciara, Perna and Loren. First, that Ciara has a 24% speed lead that gives that Loren that has a high base speed of 102 a really good boost to actually strip and put the defense break on whatever monster they face or whatever offense you face and then at the same time with that defense break and strip that Ciara can either put a bomb if it's a water monster or if it's a wind monster that Perna can actually go for the kill on the second round we see here a Luis, Trasar and Skogul now of course with that HP lead from that Luis and the HP damage based of those atlas stones those two giant warrior atlas stones are going to pack a punch plus they are most probably speed tuned to actually throw consecutively and at the same time fall consecutively on this next defense of divinorum you see here a martina shaina and triana with that 33 percent attack lead of martina and the high base speed of 101 plus that absorb shadow passive they can attack together with Chaina, steal those beneficial effects, and kill your team. All the while with Triana there to provide the sustain and heals they need to actually survive any attack. Now just remember, there's no such thing as an undefeatable or unbeatable defense. All right? It's all about the runes, it's how well you build your monsters. If you put them either with a really good set of swift runes to actually get the first turn or if you build them with high HP and sustainability or at the same time if you put a lot of attack power with that team it really depends on what type of defense you're building now what's important is of course you have a plan and at the same time you have the right builds on your monsters making sure that they take the right turns or they have the right turn order and at the same time you put in a form of sustain or making sure that you know you can't be either coppered or bulldozered or the defense you're setting up cannot be lucianed or at the same time you can't be like cleaved by like a katarina sort of discharge but of course at the end of the day there are a lot of ways to go around it but at the same time if you're expecting your opponents to actually attack you with like a lucian you can either build them extra tanky with like you know HP instead of attack for example but nevertheless at the end of the day it's all about the runes and it's all about your battle plan another good example is like this Kumun Orion you see a lot of these Kumun Orion combinations um, who would have expected like a G3 guild or a legend guild like this still uses four star monsters for defenses well mainly because that harmless prank is just so OP and at the same time that Komun provides a 24% attack speed lead when paired together with that Orion's harmless prank is just so OP another strategy that you can actually take into consideration when you're making a defense is of course it's a guild battle or it's a guild war therefore you know just make sure you're actually putting a defense that can at least take out one of the monsters of the opponents or ruin their combo so that when they attack the later towers in your guild defense you know they wouldn't be able to use the same offensive team to actually beat the defenses of your other guild members now um, for this guild war we haven't won it let's go hit the highest plus three tower and we see here a tower from YS of GOAT. Let's go check it out. Alright, he has that Chi Wu 
Song Zhang Lao, the Dark Monkey King. And at the same time, he has that Barbara with this Ciara, Bastet, and Ja'ara. For the first round, his plan here is of course for Chi Wu to strip. And then first this Sang Zhang Lao to actually summon clouds and decrease the defenses and stun the enemies while this Barbara goes for the kill. And then for the second round, with that Ciara speed lead, Bastet's gonna go and give this Ja'ara the turn for a Dark Nova. And then of course for Ciara to put a bomb on any monster for that matter. Normally should of course go for the elemental water element. Now, with that in mind, for the first round, we're going to bring in the speed lead of Galleon, bring in our frigate to give the turn to Galleon for a time to loot, attack buff our Lucian, and then we'll go for the cleave. For the second round, I'm gonna bring in a water tank for the Ciara in the form of Rina, and then someone who can't be killed by say Ciara in case she can kill or she kills our tank Irina I'm gonna bring in Garo and then thinking of that speed lead we want to take the first turn hopefully um, with that 33 or 30% speed lead from this Garo I'm thinking let's bring in our Okeanos so that maybe we can stun or reset either this Ja'ara or this Bastet let's go try it out the question is are we faster? yes okay full speed ahead the danger here is of course we have a fire element chiwu so there is a big chance oh nice violent proc let's decrease the attack bar of that chiwu yeah and since it's a legend guild the question here is can we cleave i don't think so Oh wow, so tanky. Oh, good thing he dripped there. <laughs> oh, but decrease attack bars. Can we stun? Okay, nice stun. But then gets a Valen proc, stuns us. Wow, look how tanky and how strong this Dark Monkey King is. Wow, okay. See what I mean? OP. I was actually hoping for that Bastet to do Oasis Blessing because then she could have easily given the turn to say Ciara and Ciara would have just put a bomb on that Rina with the immunity on. Um, but anyway, let's go try and see if we can reset this Ciara here. Or should we go for the stun? Yeah, we can go for the stun and see if we can just put this uh, Bastet out of commission for one turn. No? Okay, that's fine. Um, now with Rina there, oh look at the violent procs on this guy and a high crit rate Ciara, huh? Yeah, let's go kill this Ja'ara. Yeah, because Ja'ara can kill our Okeanos. And this Ciara will just continuously attack onto our Rina because she's water. Okay, kill. Alright. Now you'll see here. Oh, wow. A strong bomb, that's like 15,000 through the shield. Okay, let's go stun. And then let's go kill this Ciara. See that she gets three attack bar buffs or attack bar boosts every time. Definitely a high crit rate Ciara. Can we reset Bastet? Nope. Stun the Ciara. Hmm, let's not heal yet. Okay, three versus one. It's pretty much a GG. Oh, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, we'll just take a long time with this Rina, of course, but there's no way Bastet can win Rina, right, with the shield. But 
this is a very good example of what I was telling you about earlier. He built his monsters really good. Especially with that first round where that Dark Monkey King was very tanky. And at the same time, you see here a really fast Bastet and a Ciara with a high crit rate. That's why she was able to get all those um, attack bars every time she uses this first skill. And then she's able to actually eventually get a turn, put a bomb, and then she's again on a violent setup. So she gets another turn to actually start planting bombs and, you know, go crazy with actually bombing and all that. But again, there is a counter to it. That's why we put in our arena here so that she will just continuously try to bomb our arena all the while we were actually able to kill that Ja'ara and then later on kill the Ciara until we're actually left with a Bastet against this Okeanos and Rina. Alright. If you watch our videos, we show a lot of guild content that you can actually learn from, especially our siege battle content where we are able to see our senpais, our G3 players from the Symphonic family and Wickwick as we attack these top tier meta defenses. Alright, onwards to the next battle. Uh, let's look for the highest health plus 2 here. And we see a defense from Kramon. Okay, oh nice. A string master with that Theo and Beta. For the first round, we're gonna bring in our Bulwark, Emilia, and Skogul. And then for the second round, let's play around with this Orion Kumun defense and Barbara. Let's bring in our Kumun, but this time let's bring in Ritesh and Theo Mars. We haven't featured Ritesh in a while, so let's go use him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Fire String Master, also known as Hong Yong. That Millennium Melody increases the attack bars of all allies by 15% each and recovers the HP of the ally that gets a turn by 15% each and increases the attack power for one turn. That's why this beta got that attack power buff and at the same time Theomars did when he got his turn. But then again, yeah it's a nice defense especially she has that 33% HP speed lead. But of course we brought in our 99.9 win rate offense <laughs> just to make sure we win yeah because yeah I don't really want to play around much against you know uh, against GOAT especially after seeing that first battle with that super tanky Dark Monkey King and <laughs> yeah we'll play around with other defenses like that Komun Orion combo that's why we brought in our Komun Ritesh Theomars. Just to make sure that we at least win one. Okay, but, that's, but that's a nice defense. Especially that we were able to see a Hong Yong defense. Okay, now. Here goes Harmless Prank. Stuns our Ritesh off the bat. But at least we didn't get a defense break. And the question here is, who are we going to kill first? Of course, the main threat here is Barbara, and at the same time, this Orion. Kumun, not so much because we have Theo Mars, and he's just going to keep hitting our Ritesh, while Barbara will keep hitting our Kumun. Now, let's go kill Barbara because we don't want her actually getting the chance to also hit our Theo Mars. Okay. Yeah, because if that Orion is able to put a defense break on our Theo, then this Barbara will shift the target to that Theo Mars. At the same time, she can remove all beneficial effects on Theo Mars and kill him. Without Theo Mars, we cannot kill this Kumun. Okay, now we are stunned here. Can we kill? Okay, nice violent proc. And that's going to be a goodbye. Alright. This Kumun here is on Violent as you've seen earlier. Yeah, a lot of G3 players actually put 
Komon on a violent build. Speed, crit damage, HP. With a build like that, you can actually do a lot of damage with Soul Devourer because it deals damage proportionate to Komon's max HP. Yep, but pretty much a GG with a 3 versus 1. The defense with Orion is of course a very RNG. If that Orion was able to strip and defense break someone, say like on Theomars or a defense break on our Komun, he could have easily maybe killed our Komun with that Barbara or maybe killed our Theomars with a defense break on them. Because at the end of the day, RNG rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go hit the highest health plus one tower and we see here a defense from Shinji That's a Jean, Celia and Julian and then for the second round he has that Feng Yen, Perna and Kraka Now what we are going to do here is of course Bring in a dark tank in the form of Jultan who's also going to provide us with the defense break we need to kill them and then at the same time we have immunity and cleanse from our Emilia so that Perna can start working on these monsters and then for the second round we're just going to bring in immunity with Wusa and then Feng Yen to tank this Perna of course we will need immunity because that Kraka is going to go for a defense break and then at the same time we'll need someone to tank this Feng Yen while this Perna continuously works on our Feng. Okay, one safe team and then one test team with that Jultan, Perna, and Emilia. Let's go. The plan with this defense is, of course, Celia to strip and put anyone to sleep who has a buff on them, and when at the same time you have this Julian to actually start hitting and doing damage all the while with the resistance lead of this Jean and of course Jean with the provoke and invincibility now given that they are all light and we brought in a dark monster they're all going to attack of course onto our Jultan all the while Jultan will also provide us with the defense break that we need to actually kill them now I'm thinking of course we want to kill this Celia first because she puts keeping one of our monsters to sleep okay and then at the same time of course even if we kill that Julian he's just going to suck out the life from his teammates and of course this Jean will heal him every time she attacks on her turn definitely beautiful LND monsters from GOAT Yep, Jultan, Second Awakening, definitely overpowered. <laughs> yep, makes him a better tank than he was before, for sure. Okay, now, here we will be targeting and aiming to kill this Kraka first before anyone else, because she's just going to be able to provide that defense break and at the same time revive anyone who is killed. Now, the trick here is, of course, for us to get the defense break on her before we collapse her okay so that it's going to be one for the kill all right and automatically it's a three versus two one more thing if you're going to build an offense team make sure you either have a defense break an attack buff and of course to make sure you bring immunity if you are going to be facing enemies that do debuffs like in this case defense break from that Kraka and of course this Feng Yen and at the same time of course you have to take into consideration heals that will be coming from the opponent so that you can either kill them right away or prevent them from healing or like sniping the right monster first so that you can easily defeat the defense now while this fight is going on I would like to send out greetings to our current subscribers what's up guys we want to hear from you, leave a comment, we hope you're doing well and of course a warm welcome to our new subscribers welcome to our channel and we hope that you enjoy what we have for you here we are very open for feedback 
actually we appreciate feedback so don't be shy leave a comment let us know what you think especially you know we're aiming to of course continuously improve our videos for your viewing pleasure we got some really nice Guardian 3 real-time arena battles at the end of this video after the closing scene please check that out all right and this fungin is just so tanky isn't he <laughs> it's taking so much see resisting all our defense breaks getting all those violent procs and yep definitely an OP guild okay can we defense break still no defense break <laughs> <laughs> yep for sure a very OP build on this Fangian but you can see that he's not on destroy because he's not really destroying the HP of our Rusa very fast because look at that attack bar I mean even though he's getting the additional attack bars you know but okay finally a defense break <laughs> And that's the last of our swords for this guild war. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. And like what we always do, may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one. And as promised, here are some really nice world real-time arena battles from our Guardian 3 players. I really like how they fight and use all these LND monsters, especially these Artamiels. You'll see a lot of ragdolls, and at the same time, we got battles from the likes of Thompson. So please stand by for that. And again, enjoy and. Salute.